Zach and Puff in the cart, about to chop some food before we go into the cocoa farm to harvest some cocoa. It's cocoa season, right now on the 15 acres. Episode six, I haven't really been keeping up to date for a hot minute, so much has changed, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Right now, we're just gonna prep ourselves for going to harvest some cocoa, and I'll keep you guys updated in a little bit, shalom. What to say? So yeah, even though like it's hitting dry season, like the amount of produce and just life is abundant. Well, actually, this is where the main um the main 15 acres is. I haven't weeded here in so long that like I'm just literally brushing through all these weeds to even get past. Oh. Getting some cocoa early, all of this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go So right now, yeah, we're making a pruning hook. You take your food. Oh no, mm. I'll collect it after, don't worry. So this one, show them, let's get closer. Yeah. This one be the pruning hook. We're gonna use it to harvest all this cocoa you see. Has Zach got one in his hand? Yeah. So, we just found a stick in here, we made it now.
Кокосный день. He said he needs some coconut. Uh, that guy, a coconut seller. Oh, he needs some. Yeah, so, so I can I should, sell him. I should bring him some. Yeah. Oh, okay. But his price is no good. We are selling one over there, uh, two, two CD. CD, and we are telling me that three is for two CD. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why you no respond? Why mm -hmm. now you, you hear the sound say mm, this, this sound? <laughs> and it's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> you know the real one when you hear yeah, it. Yeah, He's yeah, like, this yeah. guy, this guy be fraud. Yeah, you know, this guy yeah, be liar. Yeah, liar. <laughs> you know one of us. Yeah. <laughs> If I make it correct, that means. <laughs> so you see a monster cocoa. What, what type of animal will come in here? I don't know. Goat. Oh, goat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Will they chop the beans? No, they just remove the wheat. Oh. And the, uh, the, the sun will hit. Mm. So it can be. What's it for? Um, the other Sufi, the one that's like, you can scoop it up like, or should we just the use this one. one? The big one? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will remove this all. Oh, yeah, let me, let me, let me do it. You take this level off. Which one? This one. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs>
So we want to bring it down to just below this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're easy. <laughs> so basically we've just been leveling the ground. Let me show you something though. You see right here, that's where the, that's basically the outlet for the grey water system. So up here, it comes up. Just where Razak is, is where the shower water, that little window beside Razak is where the bathroom is. The water goes into some wood chips, passes out through the bottom part of here, comes out here. Once it comes out, there's going to be a gravel bed with various different plants in it that like water and can form like good roots so bacteria can be taken up by them and then we're hoping from that to be gravity fed out to the lake over there so we'll see how, how it works it looks, does it look okay? yeah it looks okay oh wait do that one more time Alarm family, all praise to the most high man, episode 6 and boy a lot has changed, I've told myself that I need to get consistent again and I think I'm ready to do that now, but yeah man, feeling really blessed at the moment, everything's going really well, we're in uh, dry season now, uh, January 2022 and yeah it's not the new year even though everyone's celebrating as the new year, the new year starts in March where when things begin to spring back to life. Not in the dead of winter, but that's a whole nother story. It's actually a Greek god called Janus, the god of transitions, that she's what's celebrated in January, but that's just a Greek tradition, pagan traditions. But we're looking at the real new year. Nature will teach when the real, real new year is, which is really March when things begin to spring to life. But anyway, we give thanks for another day. Come and see all the animals abundant on the land. Just give them a little feed. These are not even my chickens, but I give them a bit of corn every morning. So yeah, a lot has changed. I've even done a bit of tiling. It's quite cool. Even down here, different colored chippings, got the stone wall. Here you see my um, my watering can, so I've been getting my water in. Starting some seedlings today. A few little thing. Got a little mini greenhouse there where I store everything. Got three different foundations here, which I'm gonna show you a little bit closer in a second. Cherry tomato, Rapunzel sowed 
the 10th of the 1st, 2022. So I'll put this at the bottom. Just like that. Now I'm going to put these to the side before I put them inside the greenhouse. It's a long family. Another day on the land. Today I'm with Razak. Razak, say yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Cutting the wood. It's cutting the wood. Yeah. So what we're doing now, if you can see here, this is where the kitchen is going to be. So we're just marking out a space where we can do the foundation. This time I'm just going to directly fill it rather than fill the whole ground. So it's a little bit more easier to work with when we're done. So yeah. the most high. Yeah man, so as I said, like a lot's been done. We've been to the cocoa fields, we've, we've harvested, we've dried, we've done the bits of the cocoa. I'll show you how the cocoa looks now. Um, but yeah, just gonna show you a little bit of what's been happening on the land since episode five. We've got a house built, um, just like the foundation for two other buildings. Uh, we prepared garden beds, we weeded the whole area. Um, yeah, just a lot's gone down, man. And uh, now I'm getting into like the real earth, but it's getting to beautify an area a little bit. Um, definitely gotta give thanks and praises to the most high at all times for all of this because we go back from how the first episode started when I was in the mud hut. It's not to say anything's wrong with the mud hut, these are still practices and places I wanna be intertwined in because the more I've even gone through the different challenges having to opt for a cement build when that was never the plan due to like quickness it just shows you like how certain pressures can change who you focus on for me the most time is creation is refuge is safety and it's just interesting in the time of worry I chose to opt for what I wouldn't say is wicked but just something that isn't completely as natural and it's kind of a metaphor for life you see us do that a lot sometimes out of fear we run to devices that don't serve us and I'm not mad at this at all but it helped me learn a lot about why we do do what we do and how these things became a lot more popular and a lot of the time it's due to efficiency rather than being good for us when you realize that nature has what nature does everything in its own time, you start to see why. And the fact that it has a life cycle of birth and death so constantly makes you realize why people do what they do, why we opt for varnishes and uh, paints and stuff just to help preserve things a little longer because after all the work I've done with this, it's so tiring to like even consider having to do it all again. So, She's giving me a lot of understanding, but as we move forward, I'm going to show you the kitchen, show you the uh, one of the rooms I'm hoping to make because in due time, I hope to have some people out here come help me. I've got a whole 15 acres um, I need to work with, and it'll be good to just get people out, show them the process, show them what I went through. But first, I've got to get them all done. So that's episode six. We're going to get to episode seven where we're going to show you the actual house build. Um, but for now, um, all praise to the most high, keep following what I'm doing, www.theexcursion.com um, Yeah, feel free to show any support you can by sharing, supporting, there will be a page as well um, I'll be setting up a page for possible donations, so anyone who wants to support financially I'll be more than, more than happy to take in what anyone's willing to give um, and Just thanks for keeping with me throughout all of this because um, I have been gone for a hot minute and all your support, especially as I'm alone out here, has been truly a blessing. So, Shalom, all praises to the Most High and stay blessed. Supreme. 
I've been deep forest plucking up leaves from it. Yeah. Yeah. All in Babylon, I just dream of it. All the pain part the team from it. The whole scene from it. I mean clean from it. Your false prophets planted schemes on it. Your we from it. Don't even speak of it. Nah. One of them true treasures, the seed from it. Seen us how we ski on it. I ain't always been on it. Look how them pop pills and seam vomit. Hey. Top shelf the scenes for hat. Mind you, I ain't always been polished. That's if I'm being honest. Listen, certain sinners took me clean off it. And that's why praise be the peak topic. Father and the son never speak of it. Shallow faith, deep pockets. We just Pokemon, just hold the team rockets. Righteousness, I'm trying to recover.